What's going on, podcast? It's your host, Jazz Tackar. And yes, today, by myself. I don't know. Nobody wants to co-host with Jazzy today. Laura Elto Stewart is busy and too cool for me. She obviously has her own podcast now. Make sure to go check that out. It's called uh, the, the From From the Ground Up Media Show. You can find find that on YouTube and all other podcast platforms. Nikki Steven, Geralina, nobody wants to host with me today. I don't know if I smell. I don't know what it is. At the end of the day, I wanted to bring you guys the straight goods when it comes to market stats. This is not going to be a long podcast episode because A, we're crazy busy right now here at REC. Um, for anybody who's new to my world, that's the company that I co-founded about 16 years ago where we help buyers, sellers, and investors. But along with that, I started a new media company that helps um, salespeople and business owners, specifically real estate agents, right now at the time of this recording at July of 2021, specifically real estate agents with creating content. You guys obviously hopefully, hopefully see me everywhere and on all the platforms. And now I want to make sure that I help others do that as we've been teaching them through this podcast, through all the, the content on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Um, we wanted uh, uh, to share that with other people. And so with the start of that company, been crazy busy, but it was perfect timing as I was thinking about, okay, who's going to be my guest? I was like, you know what? I'm going to go straight into the market stats because we get so many questions about that, maybe 12, 13 times a day, just questions around what the heck is going on in the real estate market. As you know, but if you're new, we here at REC Canada help buyers, sellers, and investors in the greater Toronto area. So it's that 75 kilometer radius, that 50 mile radius from, from Hamilton over to the west, Bowmanville slash Newcastle to the east, Barry slash Aurelia up north and right down to the lake. And so I wanted to go in to all the stats. I wanted to speak about the, the, the greater Toronto area as a whole. But then I'm going to dive into Toronto specific. Mississauga, my hometown and where all my paisans are, my Indianos uh, in Brampton. And, and then we're going to talk about Oakville as well. And the, the, when it comes to market stats, if you haven't heard me say this before, or if you have, I want to remind you, there's a few indicators that I always like to focus on. Number one is average sale price. I want to know what's going on um, uh, in, in terms of sales. Are we, are we trending upwards, downwards? What's kind of, what's the numbers compared to the previous year at the same time, which obviously in 2021, when comparing to 2020, we got to take it with a grain of salt because of the fact that in 2020, of June, we were actually locked down. So even though we're in July now, at the time of this recording, I'm actually going to be speaking to, of, of the stats of end, uh, from end of June. So why don't I just jump into it? In fact, sorry, I, I want to speak about the other market indicators. After average sales price, I like to talk about the number of sales, days on market. And then for me, the most important market indicator is months of inventory. I know I might sound like a broken record. I talk about months of inventory and the importance of it all the time, but it really is, really is the market indicator that if you get dropped off anywhere in the world and in any city, you can kind of tell what type of market you're in, what type of real estate market anyways that you're in. Because if months of inventory are anywhere from zero to three months, then that's considered a seller's market. But if you're three and a half to five and a half months, you're in a balanced market meaning that there's just as many uh, uh, listings, people putting our homes for sale, compared to how many buyers are out there. And then six months and above, you're in a buyer's market. There's more people with for sale signs on homes and condos than there is actually buyers. For the last, I'm going to say about T minus a year and a half or so, we've been in, in the greater Toronto area, hands down, in a very, very strong seller's market, meaning we have more buyers looking for homes and condos than there is actual sellers. And why is that? The number one reason for that is because rates, interest rates are, wow, are they ever at a historic low. I just personally did a refinance myself where I was actually able to refinance my mortgage at, at an interest rate of about one percent 
1.4%. I tell the story a lot where about 2006, my first property that I ever bought, I paid, my interest rate then was 4.5% uh, for a five-year fixed rate. My brothers and I, because we bought three separate homes, we were laughing because we robbed the bank at that because it was a fantastic rate at 4.5% at that time. But now, I mean, talking about 1.4%, I think most people know that rates can't stay this low. It's not, it's not healthy. However, we can't increase them too quickly, and I say we, I mean Bank of Canada, because they know what the housing market does to the economy. In fact, every time a home or condo sells, it's an average of about sixty-five to seventy-five thousand dollars every time a home or condo is sold, and on on, on average, about sixty-five to seventy-five thousand dollars gets pumped into the economy. The brokers, real estate, mortgage, lawyers. Home inspectors, plumbers, electricians, the Home Depots. I mean, all of that gets, uh, all that money gets spent when somebody buys and sells a property. So, without further ado, I have all this, uh, uh, all these stats in front of me right now. I'm going to dive right into them. As I mentioned, it's going to be a short podcast episode. And please, if you want your full copy of the market stats, all you need to do is text the word stats. Text the word STATS to 647-372-0126. Text the word STATS to 647-372-0126, and you'll get your full copy of all these stats that I'm talking about. So let's start as a whole of uh, 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 by, uh, let's speak about the greater Toronto market stats. So starting off with the average sale price, it just came in at 1075000 which compared to 2019, uh, 2020 in June, you're looking at an increase of 20.7%, 20.7% increase on values on average. Number of sales were up by 95%, 70,000 sales have our, our year to date um, from, from January, 2021 to, to end of June. Now, again, take that with a grain of salt because we're comparing we're also comparing the sales from 2020, and that's just, in my opinion, not the right number to look at because, in all fairness, there wasn't many sales happening in June of 2020. Uh, in June of 2020, average days on market in the Greater Toronto Area right now you're at 13 uh, uh, days on market, but that months of inventory you're at one month of inventory. So if nobody would, if no new person, I should say puts their home or condo on the market, all the properties that are currently on the market would take one month to sell. So again, very strong seller's market. Let's dive directly into the Toronto market. And this is all home types, okay? Uh, condos, townhomes, semi-detached apartment, uh, townhomes, as well as uh, condos as well. We're looking at 1,051,000 as the average sale price. Um, 24 sales, Year to date, 15 days average, uh, average days on market, and 1.33 months of inventory, which is a little over uh, one month and one week. Let's go to Mississauga. Very interesting uh, for me to be speaking about Mississauga. We're actually going into a condo launch, a uh, new condo project in the next couple of days. So if you're hearing this as of uh, July 7th or 8th, uh, Wednesday, make sure to get in touch with us. If you're looking for a new condo project to invest in, I get 50 of them at my desk every single year. I pick six to eight of them and I want you to make sure you're on my hall list. The next project I'm doing is in Mississauga. So I'm excited to see the fact that the average price here is a little over a million dollars now in Mississauga. I remember going back about eight to nine months ago when it when the average price in Toronto went over a million dollars, we were waiting for that to happen in Mississauga. That's happened now. That's an increase of 19.6% of an increase compared to last year. 12 days, uh, average days on market. Um, and we're seeing a little over three weeks of inventory. So less than a month of inventory in Mississauga currently for all property types. Let's go to Brampton. Uh, average sale price slightly above a million dollars, a million, uh, a million and ten thousand to be exact. Um, number of sales are at seven thousand. Nine days 
average days on market. So if you're a seller thinking about selling your home condo or townhome or whatever it might be, on average, you can expect it to take about nine days um, and months of inventory. It's the lowest out of all the regions right now, slightly above two and a half weeks. Why? Why are we seeing this in Brampton? Why is it only taking nine days compared to 12 days in Mississauga, 15 days in Toronto, 13 days in total in GTA? Well, in my opinion, it's because you get a little bit more home in Brampton and you start to see a lot more uh, basement apartments as well. That's great. It's, a, it's one of the best rental hubs um, in all of the greater Toronto area because of the proximity to transit, schools, and, 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 and so many parks as well. And so in my opinion, again, I think that's why we're seeing such low months of uh, uh, low inventory and low uh, average days on market. And finally, I'm gonna go to Miss, uh, Oakville, average sale price, the highest of all regions, 1,466,000, um, not many sales, only, only 2,600 uh, sales. Why? People who are in Oakville in areas like Oakville, I mean, they tend not to leave. You, you buy a home in Oakville in an area like Oakville and then you're there for de two, three decades. Um, average days on market is 12 days on market and months of inventory is slightly less than one month. To get your full report on the current, the most recent Real estate market stats right across the greater Toronto area. Again, all you got to do is text the word stats to 647-372-0126. I told you this was going to be a short podcast episode. I generally go over 45, 60, sometimes 90 minutes on these podcast episodes. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thought like are you okay with a little shorter version or do you want to hear my voice and see my face for even longer i know i like the camera i like hearing my voice but i want to hear from you guys drop me something in the comments on whatever platform you're watching and as always i love love all the feedback and all the support i'll see you guys next wednesday